Hi everyone, welcome to Swarthmore College's campus tour. My name is Omar and I use he him pronouns. I am currently a junior on campus and I am double majoring in chemistry and dance. Hi, I'm Anna, I use she her pronouns. Um, I'm a junior at Swarthmore College. I'm an English major and an Asian studies minor. Hi, my name is Sammy. Welcome to the Swarthmore College campus tour. I use she her pronouns. I am a psychology major and an English literature minor from Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Behind me is Parish Hall. What I like to say about Parish is that when in doubt, when you're looking for something, you can find it here. Everything from our mail office to our dean's offices and even a ping pong table and dorms on the upper floors. Parish Hall is kind of the center hub of campus. It used to be the only building at Swarthmore. So it used to have dorms, classes, and administrative offices. Now it just has some dorms, some offices, the mail room. Um, once you go through, you cross into your classes. This big lawn area is what we um, affectionately call Parish Beach. Obviously it's ironic, it's a big grassy area. Um, mostly when it's warm out, a lot of students will come here, sit out, bathe in the sun, do their work out here. I like to have picnics out here with my friends, get like a big baguette and some fruit um, and just chill out here on a Sunday. Um, but this big area um, overlooks a lot of the student life areas on campus, including the dining hall. Behind Parish Beach as well, you'll see our bell tower on campus, which helps students keep track of the time, as well as provides a space for different groups, such as our acapella groups on campus, uh, to practice and perform. Here we are in Wharton Courtyard, which is surrounded by Wharton Hall, one of our largest residential halls on campus. Residential life on campus is largely built around the fact that 96% plus of students at Swarthmore live on campus all four years. As a first year student, you often have the opportunity to live with one other student in a double room, and you have a lot of support systems built around you within your hall life. Inside your dorm, you have a lot of people who support you, such as the RAs, the residential advisors on your hall. You have the SAMs, the student academic mentors. You have GAs, the green advisors who work with sustainability, compost, recycling, and you have a lot of other support system outside of your dorm life. And this, um, the dorm life creates such a um, sense of family and community and friends here on campus. So this is the Scott Amphitheater. This is where um, graduation takes place. This is one of the most beautiful spots on campus. You would often see students just sitting here, talking, having pic a picnic, lunch. Um, behind the amphitheater, you would find the Crumb Woods, which is a huge space of just woods and trees. And there's the Crumb Creek, which is a small river that you could go to. And some people would also swim there or hike, which is really nice. Here we are at Sharples Dining Hall. Sharples is our only dining hall on campus, which is primarily because we have strong Quaker roots at Swarthmore, which dictate that everyone eat under one roof here. Um, that being said, we also have an ongoing construction project, remodeling our current dining hall and, and making additional space so that we can have a formal student center on campus. We also have two coffee bars in the Science Center and in Kohlberg, where you could go get some coffee or snacks at any time of the day. In here, I wanna talk a bit about the meal plans. Um, in the meal plan, you have meal swipes, which you could use at the dining hall. Whenever you come in, you would swipe your card and you would go in to get a meal. You can also get some meal points, which are kind of dollars, and you would use also anywhere on campus. And you could also use in the town of Swarthmore. You, we have a co-op. You could go buy groceries and use your meal plan without spending your real money. You can also go to like a coffee bar in the um, town as well. So behind me is the Science Center. This is one of the main buildings that you'll be having class in at Swarthmore. Um, it houses a lot of the STEM classes. A big part of your academic life at Swarthmore is going to be the fact that it's a liberal arts college. What that means is Swarthmore doesn't want you to just be singularly um, focused on one department or one area of study. They want you to explore all divisions. Um, there are three divisions in the school. There's the humanities, there's the social sciences, and there's also the natural sciences. Before the time you graduate, they want you to take a certain amount of classes in each division and really kind of engage with that liberal arts philosophy. Behind me, you'll see McCabe Library. McCabe is one of our three main libraries on campus. Um, and in it, you can find a variety of different resources, including, of course, librarians, research help, our ITS desk. Uh, we also have access to what we call a cash-free campus at Swarthmore, and that includes everything from printing to laundry as being a free service for students here. Um, also in McCabe, you have access to a variety of course materials that you might need for classes, 
as well as different materials and books from other classes and other uh, schools as part of the Tri-College Consortium. This is the Lang Performing Arts Center. We also call it LPAC for short. This is where you could find all the dance and theater um, classes in here. We have the two main dance studios in the basement. This is where I spend most of my time during the week just taking classes such as ballet and modern classes. Um, so I am a dance major and it's been really great just to engage with the dance department one-on-one. -on -one. And all the teachers are very um, sweet and they give you feedback, critical feedback that is very, that I really appreciate. And I've also made, a, like my best friends are in the dance department. I spend time with them a lot and they really mean so much to me. We also have a big black box theater. There's also an auditorium that will have speakers, um, different events. So for example, um, if you're familiar with Hamilton, they brought in Renee Elise Goldsberry, who's one of the original cast members, and she came and performed my freshman year. Here we have our student gym, uh, which is also open to the entire Swarthmore community. We call it the Matchbox. And it is here that students, staff, faculty are able to partake in exercise classes, yoga classes, as well as just an environment to promote overall wellness on campus. Um, Swarthmore is also part of the Centennial Conference um, and hosts 22 varsity sports at the Division III level. Um, I'm on our varsity field hockey team and I've had a great experience not only being able to work out in the Matchbox, but also also participate um, on the team and play on the field and really bond with the athletic community here. Welcome to the Black Cultural Center or what we call the BCC. The BCC is a space oriented towards black students. They hold events, different speakers. They celebrated their 50th anniversary on Swarthmore's campus. They partnered with the school, dedicated the whole year towards black excellence. This here is the Intercultural Center or the IC. It is a safe space for every student from every background. And as an international student, student from Lebanon, I have found this place to be a safe space for me and a place where I seek comfort and help. Um, it is also home for a lot of different cultural clubs and societies on campus. Also I-20, which is the international club, which is one of the, which is the biggest club on campus actually, is placed here in this um, building. Here you'll see the Swarthmore Rose Garden, an iconic part of Swarthmore's campus and part of what we have on campus as our Scott Arboretum. The Scott Arboretum not only means that you can't pick any flowers or damage any of the plants on campus, but it also means that all of our plants are much better labeled than our buildings here. Um, something else that relates to our Swarthmore Rose Garden is the tradition that as a senior, you walk through the garden with your class and get to pick a rose to wear when you receive your diploma at graduation. So this is Singer Hall. We, al we also call it BEP. Uh, biology, engineering, and psychology classes are in this building. Uh, this is one of our newer buildings. It has a lot of STEM classes, STEM labs. Um, it has a solar lab. It also has a greenhouse. Um, Swarthmore is very into sustainability here. So a lot of student projects that have to do with sustainability are implemented into this building. Um, we also have an engineering major. So a lot of the engineering labs are in this building as well. This is the Lang Center for Civic and Social Responsibility. It provides students with opportunities regarding leadership, social issues, and social change. Um, you can also get funding from this center to conduct any research project, any internship regarding any of those issues. And one of the main things that this um, Lang Center gives is the Lang Scholarship. And you can get the scholarship to do any research project anywhere in the world regarding any issue that you're passionate about. Located at the foot of campus, Swarthmore's train station provides easy access into a variety of places. Most notably, about 20 to 25 minutes away is the city of Philadelphia. Um, through Philadelphia and access to the city, Swarthmore provides students with train tickets to go to art museums, musical events, sporting games, or a variety of different opportunities. Swarthmore students also have the option to take classes at the University of Pennsylvania for credit and as part of Swarthmore's tuition. Um, I have a number of friends who have taken classes at UPenn and have made great opportunities, connections with professors, and really been able to enhance their Swarthmore experience. Thanks so much for watching this campus tour video and we hope to see you here at Swarthmore soon.